Hey, it's just another Joe from Field and Forest Products. We're here today to talk about forest fruiting logs. Forest fruiting shiitake logs in particular. We're going to talk about why we do it, how we do it, and when we do it. Forest fruiting, otherwise known as shocking logs, is a practice used to stimulate mushroom logs to fruit and is used almost exclusively in shiitake mushroom cultivation. Something to keep in mind is that you will only want to force fruit logs after you have seen their first natural fruiting, which indicates that the log is fully colonized and ready to produce mushrooms. If you try to force a log before it is fully colonized, it stresses the mycelium which can result in misshaped mushrooms, poor yields, and a delay in the first crop. Another factor in forcing is to keep in mind that you'll want to line up the fruiting temperature of your shiitake strain to what the current daytime air temperatures are. For example, we force fruit wide range shiitake strains such as WR46 and Westwind when temperatures are 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the daytime temperatures are 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, we opt to force fruit warm weather varieties, such as night velvet. The process of force fruiting follows as such. Load the logs that you are looking to shock into a large watertight vessel. We use a 150 gallon stock tank but we have seen folks use garbage cans, bathtubs, canoes, kiddie pools, and the list goes on and on. Once the tank is full with logs, fill with water. Aim to have the water temperature at least 20 degrees cooler than the daytime average air temperature. Let the logs soak for at least 12 hours, but no more than 24. This process does several things. The water provides a temperature and moisture swing that's enough to get the mycelium to think something's going on with the weather, like perhaps a monsoon, stimulating to produce a reproductive body, that is, the mushroom that you are familiar with. This is why you may also notice mushrooms fruiting after periods of heavy rain coupled with temperature swings. After the 12 hour period, drain the tank and remove the logs. You will want to stack the logs in a configuration that will allow the mushrooms to emerge from all sides of the logs. We like to use a low lean-to configuration, which keeps the logs low enough to the ground to be protected, but still offers plenty of space for your hands to be able to reach in and around the logs to harvest the mushrooms. Once stacked, we like to cover the logs with a fruiting blanket. This is optional but the blanket will trap and localize humidity around the developing mushrooms, allowing them to grow into beautiful, robust mushrooms that are a joy to pick. It also helps keep some of the pests at bay, such as mice and deer. Depending upon daytime high and nighttime low temperatures, mushrooms will begin to appear in three to five days, with harvest being in five to seven sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, depending upon what's going on with the weather. Once you have harvested your mushrooms, let the logs rest for six to eight weeks before forcing them again. <laughs>